Let's create a custom policy for Azure Active Directory B2C, which we can use for creating a new user. Also, this policy will include a custom attribute. Reference to my custom policy, you can find in the description of this video. Firstly, let's take a look at claims. What we need to add to claim schema. Here I've added some required claims such as object ID or trust framework policy. Then I have email claims, also some base claims such as name, password claims. I've added also some required claims to create a new user in Active Directory. And finally, our custom claim, department ID. Previously, I added department ID attribute directly in Active Directory in user attributes section. Keep in mind that we need to have extension prefix when we refer to custom attribute. Now let's check how claims providers look. Firstly, let's take a look at user information collector technical profile. Here I'm retrieving data from query parameters to fill my custom attribute, and after that I'm adding the custom attribute to output claims section. Then, user write technical profile getting to work. Here I'm adding the claim which refers to custom attribute to persisted claims. These claims are in charge or writing data to Azure. And again, note that it's important to add extension prefix. The last essential technical profile which we need is user read. Here, in output claims, you can get data from already created user. Note that you can't to get data of custom attribute by this way. But you can rely on that value that you previously collected. After we prepared technical profiles, we are able to create user journey section where we must set the orders in which technical profiles are executing. Here you won't find user write technical profile since I've added it directly in user information collector technical profile in validation technical profile section. The second order of user journey I've set for user read technical profile and the third order JWT issuer is placing. Final section, we check its relying party. Here you can define what claims should be in your JWT token. Here we are able to add our custom attribute to have it in a token. Note that accordingly to Azure documentation to be able to get custom attribute from Azure, for example, to write down it to your database, we need to use Microsoft Graph API. And it's required to add application ID additionally to extension prefix. Link to this chapter of documentation and link to my custom policy file you can find in the description of the video.